hi and welcome to this uh, video so in this section of the playlist we are going to talk about setting up the project so the first thing that i'm going to want to do is cd into where i want my projects to be located so i'm going to cd into desktop tpg and then i'm going to create a new folder to house uh, my project so i'm going to say mkdrl make directory blog tutorial and then once i make that directory i'm going to enter this directory now once you've done this i want you to create a virtual environment now for creating a virtual environment there is a library that i like to use the name of the library is pipm so to get this library run the command pip install pipm now i am not going to run this command because i already have the library installed now once the library has installed to create a virtual environment just type the command pipm shell and run it so once you run this command it's going to get, it's going to create a new virtual environment and then it's going to name that virtual environment the name of your present working directory so as you can see now it's creating a virtual environment and once you run this pipm shell command and it has finished creating a virtual environment the virtual environment will automatically be activated now if you want to leave the virtual environment all you have to all you have to type is uh i'm coming let's it load so if you want to leave the virtual environment all you have to type is exit and if you want to reactivate it all you have to type is pip m shell you have to cd into the directory and then run the command pip m shell again to activate the virtual environment so now after creating our virtual environment the next thing we need to do is we need to install Django inside our virtual environment. So we do that by saying pip install. We do that by saying pip install Django. Let me make sure I'm spelling that right. So once you run that command, it's going to install uh, the newest version of Django for you inside this virtual environment. Now, please. Uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe as it will help the channel so i'm just going to pause here and wait for it to finish installing and so django has finished installing in our virtual environment the next thing we need to do is we need to start a new django project we do that by saying django dash admin start project and then whatever name you want to call it i'm going to call it blog prg which stands for blog project now this is going to create a folder for us if i say dir you are going to see a new folder has been created for us named blog prg so i want you to cd into that folder cd blog prg and now the next thing we need to do is start an application so we do that by saying python manage.py start app and I'm going to call my app blog app. B -I -O -G, blog app. Now, once we run that command, it's going to create a new folder for us. And if I say DIR, you would see we have some files. We have a file and we have two folders. So I'm going to go ahead and open this with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. Uh, so the next thing that we are going to do is we need to register our app inside our settings.py file in the projects folder we need to register it to let django know that we have an app uh, that we want to install in our projects so you will scroll down to where you have installed apps and then just press enter and the way to install an app in the settings.py is you just simply type in the name of the app so i'm going to type in blog app and put a comma after that so that is all we need to do in setting the pipe for now so just save that change and close it now the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the urls.py file in both the settings and in, in both the projects folder and the app folder so in your app folder i want you to create a new file and name it urls.py urls.py in your app folder i mean blog app now inside urls.py file in your app folder i want you to uh type the following from django.urls import path now after doing that we need to create the url patterns list so i'm going to say url patterns 
is equal to is going to be equal to an empty list for now and we will leave it like that so save your changes and close the file the next thing we need to do is we need to tell Django that we have a urls.py routing file in our app so let's go to our urls.py file inside the project folder and then where you see this from django.urls in post path i want you to put a comma and then we also want to import include now we need to tell django that okay we need you to include the urls.py file in the blog app so i'm going to say path and we'll leave this empty and we'll put a comma there and say include and open parenthesis and then in quotes we pass in blog app dot urls that is we're saying we need you to go into the uh blog app folder and we need you to include urls of pi file so after doing that just put a comma save and then close it now the next thing we need to do is we need to configure how our templates are going to be so we need to set up our templates so we need to go back to our app folder and we need to create a new folder inside our app folder and name it templates so t-e-m-p-l-a-t-e-s now templates the s must be there and inside the templates folder i want you to create a new folder now whatever name you give your app should be the name you are going to give this folder since my app name is blog app i'm going to also give this folder a name of blog app so inside templates folder create a founder folder and name it blog app now it is inside this blog app folder that we are going to keep all our front-end files that is our html files so the next thing we need to do is we need to um, tell django where to find our templates folder so what we need to do is go to our settings.py file and scroll down where we have this template just look down and where we have dirs i want you to put in quotes and type templates now once you've done that just save the file and close it now there is something that i need to tell you we need to now actually get we need to have some front-end files that's what we're going to be working with but luckily i already have some files that are, are that are already set up somewhere now you can get the link in the description below it's going to take you to where you can download those front-end files and you can use them now it's going to be a link to a google drive um folder so you can just download the files from there and be ready to go so for me right now i have the files uh on my computer locally so i would want you to download the about.html article.html categories.html and index.html now once you've downloaded them i want you to go to your projects folder and then uh, I want you to cd into, I want you to enter the folder where you have your project. So that is in, uh, I'm trying to locate it in blog tutorial, inside blog PRJ, inside blog app, and in templates and blog app. So I want you to cd uh, or I want you to go to the place where you have your templates folder and then now enter this blog app. And once you've done that i want you to paste uh all these files there now let me go over it again once you've gotten the front end files that is once you've downloaded them i want you to enter uh the projects folder now enter the app folder and enter the templates folder after entering the templates folder i want you to go into the blog app folder that we created that is the name of the app that we give our app the name that we give our app folder rather and then paste all these files in there so if you go to our uh, code editor and we open this we can see we already have four files in there about the html article.html categories and index.html so these are the four um these are the four templates files that we are going to be working with now the next thing we need the next thing we also need to get is um the static files that is we need to get our html and css files our javascript and css files i mean now we are not going to be following the traditional way of how of, of how static files are worked with in django what we are going to do is we are going to make use of something called a cdn now a cdn is basically a service that hosts that can be used to host static files 
and then those static files can be retrieved from those CDNs using the link. Now I'm going to explain what we're going to do. So if you go back to the drive link where you have those HTML files, you are going to notice that there are two files there also, uh, a main.js and a style.css. Now these are our static files that we're going to be using, the style, the style sheets file and the JavaScript file. Now, in this video, we're going to make use of uh, different technologies. We're going to make use of Heroku for our for hosting the uh, websites when we finish building it. And then we're going to make use of uh, Cloudinary. Now, Cloudinary is uh, what we're going to use as our CDN. So it's going to host all our static and media files. So we're going to be retrieving this data from Cloudinary. So what I want you to do is go to your browser and go to cloudinary.com cloudinary.com now once you've gone to cloudinary.com if you don't have um in a, an account already just create an account and once you've created an account just make sure you log in now once you log in you are going to see um uh the dashboard looks like this but i want you to go to media library and then once you are in media library i want you to create a new folder and you can name it whatever you want for me i'm going to name it blog tutorial blog tutorial and i'm going to hit save now i want you to enter that blog tutorial folder and inside this folder i want you to upload those two static files that is the ht the javascript and the css files that is the uh the main.js and style.css so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to upload these two files right here. So let me minimize this. So I'm going to upload this main.js and style.css into this uh, CDN right here. And then the beauty about this is that anytime we want to deploy our projects to Heroku, we won't have to worry about overstressing to make sure the static files are configured properly because we already know the static files are hosted on a CDN and all we need to do is just get the link to these files and paste in our front end that is our HTML files so to be able to read all the styles and all the uh, JavaScript from this CDN so it's going to help save our static files to us or for us so right now we've hosted our static files on Cloudinary and then we've configured how our templates are going to be um we've configured how our templates are going to be now the next thing we need to do is we need to just write some basic views code uh some basic code in the views.py to set up our home page so what i want you to do is i want you to go to your views.py file and now we need to create the uh the first view which is going to be our home view and that view is going to return index.html because that is a home page. So what we're going to say is dev home page. And then we're going to pass in request. And after passing in request, what we need to do is we need to return a template. So we're going to say return render. Return render. And the same parenthesis, we pass in request. And after passing in request, we need to pass in the um, link to the particular file we want to return. So we're going to say blog app forward slash index.html. Now we're saying blog app because index.html is inside this blog app folder. So we're saying blog app forward slash index.html. And then once we save that, the next thing we need to do is we need to map this view to a particular URL. So I want you to go to your urls.py file inside your app folder. And then what we need to do at the top is we need to import views. So what we're going to say is from blog app import views. And after importing views, what we need to do is we need to create a URL for it. So we're going to say path. And then after creating path, what we need to do is now pass in the um, URL path to this particular view. Well, since it's the home page, we're going to leave this um, code empty. So after doing that, we would say uh, views dot home page because we need to pass in the particular function that we are mapping to this URL. And after doing that, we need to give this um, URL a name. 
so i'm going to give it a name of home now after doing that what we need to do is we need to now um first make our migrations migrate and then run our server to test out um this home page that we just created so i want you to go to your terminal and run the command python manage.py make migrations and then it's just going to make all the migrations for us and then what we need to say is python manage.py migrate m-i-g-r-a-t-e and once you hit that it's just going to um, migrate all these changes now what we now need to do is run server so let's run our server python manage.py run server so once we press enter uh let's visit this url so i'm going to copy it and open it in my browser so uh i'm going to create a new tab here and paste this link so once i run that we can see that it is returning uh it is returning a page but then the css of the page isn't loading because we haven't linked this properly so let's do that right now so i want you to go to um the index.html the index.html file and then right at the top where we have these style sheets we can see it's trying to link to a style sheet that does not exist so what we need to do is go to cloudinary and remember we uploaded two files the main.js and style.css so we are going to first copy the link to the style.css and after doing that we are going to replace this href with that link and then if you scroll to the bottom of the page you are going to see that there is a, a main tag a script tag that is pointing to the main.js so what we are also going to do again is we are going to copy the link to that javascript file and we are going to replace this source with the correct link now once we save that and we go back to the web page to reload you are going to see that the css is already has already kicked in now the main reason why it's only the titles that are showing is because it can't access the uh, images if i go to the real blog uh, template uh, which is this it's trying to load this is how the real blog template looks like you have all these pictures and whatnot there so it's uh, it's only the uh, titles uh that are showing because it can't access these uh pictures now i didn't want to have to upload these pictures to cloudinary but once we start building i'm going to teach you how to um go about this that is how to get all these pictures to be displayed dynamically from the database or wherever our pictures and blog posts are going to be saved so uh i think that is all for this video guys if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe in the next video we're going to talk about um um, um editing each uh, template file that is each html file to make it suit our needs for our backend web development and then we're also going to talk about setting up the models.py file that is we're going to create the models for the blog post for the comment section for categories so stay tuned for more video guys thank you for watching and i am going to see you in the next one